Hi and welcome. Uh, today we're having a look at the uh, Ultimaker 2 from a, a Dutch company. Uh, this is one of the most popular 3D printers, so I'm sure you've already seen it. Um, so we're going to have a look at it and we're going to see how it performs. All these models here are printed with the uh, Ultimaker 2. So the Ultimaker 2 is a FDM or FFF um, 3D printer. It has a very efficient build volume of 230 by 225 by 205 millimeters. So that's 10.6 liters of print volume. Uh, it has a variable um, layer thickness between 0.02 millimeters to about 0.3 millimeters. Uh, it has a variable build speed as well, so you can do s from let's say 30 millimeter per second to a whopping 300 millimeters per second, but that's that's experimental settings. That's not th something that you can do for all models. It has a single extruder with a so-called Bowden drive, so you have the um, filament being pushed from backside of the machine. One of the reasons why you can move the print head much faster because of the um, the lowered weight uh, at, at the extruder. It has a 0.4 millimeter extruder nozzle in, in di diameter, so your smallest line should be around 0.4 millimeters. Uh, the build platform is illuminated, uh, heated with a glass plate, and you use you can use uh, build tack or uh, just normal glue to make ABS and PLA stick really well. So about materials, uh, you're using a 2.85 to 3.0 millimeter diameter. So you can actually choose if you want to have a 2.85 or a 3.0. There's also been some tests with 1.75, but I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, for materials, um, you could use PLA, ABS, um, PET, among others. Uh, you would you probably have some issues with um, soft materials or uh, wooden or, or um, similar materials since you're pushing the uh, the filaments. You can do by um, communicate by USB cable or SD card. The official print software is Cura but you can also use softwares like Simplify 3D or any other uh, basically uh, open source software since the machine itself is open source. Alright, so to conclude this printer, um, it's a very um, price worthy machine, uh, it delivers a great volume and it does so uh, excellently, it has a very reliable construction, so you don't really have any troubles with maintenance and calibrating the, the uh, build platform or loading filament is, is, is a breeze, it, it's, really, it's a really good machine and uh, there's a reason why it's so popular, it's open source, it's quick, it does great details, and it's fairly cheap. So I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and um, please give a like if you liked it, give a th thumbs down if you didn't like it, and leave a comment on what you want to see next time, or if you want to go more in depth on this machine. So thanks for watching, see you, bye.